pray to achieve their dream. It is no body that both the medical and nursing programs enjoy full accreditation status by the National Universities Commission and the professional bodies, that is, Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria and Nursing and Public Council of Nigeria. You are going there, out there into the world to render services that will make us proud of you as our members. You will not let us down. You will maintain what it takes to be a decent nurse, a clinical nurse, and an academic nurse. Some excited parents and graduates comment. I give thanks to God, Almighty God, for taking care of my daughter as she's graduating today. I give God the glory and the honor. I thank the university for baking them very well. Because I've seen that they've made up a very good nurse and those that can be well represent the nursing council. So I thank God for that. appreciate the university for putting up a, a program like this. That, that can make people at this time of the, in this country where we are talking of entrepreneurial development, where people can, even on their own, uh, have something doing. It's not been an easy journey, but thank God for family, friends, and even the system that has been very supportive. We're very, very glad and we're very, very happy to be registered nurses. I'm very, very happy, as you can see. I'm very, very happy. I'm so excited, though we have gone through so many things, but thank God the journey has ended now. As I said, it's over and a new phase is about to start. I'm so happy. There were good wee messages from some professional nurses at the event. A word of recognition was presented to the guest lecturer, followed by gift items to some notable personalities, including the Secretary General, Registrar Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria, Patience Osaugiwa, reporting. President Muhammad Buhari has departed Abuja for Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, to attend the third edition of the Future Investment Initiative with the theme, What's Next for Global Business? During the trip, which comes 48 hours after returning from Russia, the president traveled with 10 political office holders, including four governors and three ministers. The president is accompanied by Governors Babagana Zulum, Rono State, Abubakar Bagudu Kebi, and Aminu Bel Masari Kasina State. Also on the entourage are the Minister of State, Foreign Affairs, Zuberu Dada, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Ni Adibayo, Minister of State, Petroleum Resources, Timipre Siva, and Minister of Communications, Ibrahim Patami, and others. A statement by the Senior Special Assistant to the President, Media and Publicity, Garu Pasheu, said the event was organized by Saudi's Public Investment Fund. The program will focus on three key areas, sustainable future, technology for good, and advanced society. Accusation and counter-accusation have continued to trail the crisis rocking the All-Progressive Congress in the new state following the disruption of a meeting convened by a pressure group in the party, EPM, in Iwiaru, or one East local government area, leaving some people injured at the event. FOSA Wangwa reports that the crisis led to the alleged arrest of supporters of the state governor by men of the special and the robbery squad, SARS. In recent times, the crisis in APC in Edo State has taken a different twist as factions loyal to the state governor, Godwin Obaseki, and the national chairman of the party, Adam Soshomole, appear to be at loggerheads. However, the situation assumed a frightening dimension in Iwiaru, Owa East local government area, recently when an EPM meeting was allegedly disrupted, leaving property destroyed. Narrating is indeed the convener, a former commissioner, Abdu Oro, said shortly before the commencement of the meeting, some strange persons allegedly sent by the Edo State Commissioner of Education, Jimo Ejegbae, accompanied by some other APC members, disrupted the meeting, leaving one person seriously injured. Adoru narrated his ordeal through a telephone interview. A, a lecturer at Arati Polytechnic, who was also there, grabbed him by the throat and struck him on the head with an axe. You know, they smashed other vehicles, about four vehicles, including one pickup, one old pickup, which one of the farmer, local farmers was using. It was packed there, it was not part of the ones that brought the delegates to participate in the meeting. This guy was involved, he was there, he was there, he was one of those directing 
Debunking the allegation, the State Commissioner of Education, Jim Ojibwe, said the allegation is laughable, saying he can never be party to such arrangement capable of disrupting the peace in the area. I think such type of allegation against my person is very malicious and it's not correct, it's not true. Anybody that has followed my political history will know that I'm a man of peace and uh, I cannot direct any person or lead anybody to go and disrupt any meeting. To the best of my knowledge, even though I was not there, I do know that they have a, a division within there. He knew that trouble was going to come up within themselves. He illegally requested for six military men from Agenibude. The crisis has also become glaring in Benin City as a loyalist of the state governor and special advisor on security matters, Andy Momodu, was allegedly arrested by men of the special anti-robbery squad from Abuja. If not for the politics, it's the situation of Granda, I think that the father and son could now begin to accuse each other of uh, attempting to kill me or sending police all the way from Abuja down to a do to arrest for just what confirming the violence involving the epm and some persons in Iyaru, the Edo state police command image maker gsp chidi wambuzu said there was a confrontation but the situation was quickly brought under control before it degenerated into full violence gsp wambuzu however said the arrest of the special advisor by the federal sas can only be confirmed by the force headquarters unfortunately why they were to meet a ugly incident happened by this other interest having upper hand against the Edo people's uh, movement and disrupted their meeting. However, the police took charge of the incident and they ensured that the lives and property of the people were protected and secured. The last may not have been heard on the issue as the various factions have vowed to continue to flex Moses on who truly owns the structure of the party in Edo State. A Fosa Wangwe reporting. The member representing Oedo Federal Constituency, Dr. Omoigi Obediyama, has been decorated as the patron of the parent chapter of the Catholic Youth Organization of St. Joseph Catholic Church, Benin City, during the 40th anniversary, which held on Sunday. Bastion Bureau reports that the investiture was in recognition of the federal legislators' contributions to the propagation of the gospel of Christ. That was the investiture of the member representing Oedo Federal Constituency, Dr. Moegi Ogbede Hama, as the patron of the Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria, St. Joseph Catholic Church in Benin City, by the chaplain of the Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria, Reverend Father Benedict Mayaki, and the president of the association, Patrick Akumabo. The investiture, according to the organizers, is in recognition of Dr. Moegi Ogbede Hama's immense contributions to the empowerment of youths who cut across parish in the Catholic faith and its support, dedication, and commitment to the activities of the Catholic Church. Uh, today, the campaign of the youth uh, has to say a prayer for the right and the right people to offer your way in your heart and to carry out the special ceremony as one of the youth, as one of the papers of the CYO of our uh, parish. Right and honorable Edge there, Dr. Omori, the right and the right and the right and Dr. Moegi Ogbede Yama also joined in the Edo Ethnic Nationality Harvest Thanksgiving, where the Bini group in the church danced to the altar in Thanksgiving. The member representing Oedo Federal Constituency, Dr. Moegi Ogbede Hama, was the co-chairman of the 2019 Adult Harvest Thanksgiving or St. Paul's Catholic Church Thags Restoration and also had the privilege of chairing the Better Baptist Church Harvest where he was extolled as a man who is dedicated to the service of God and humanity. A beautiful man belongs to the heart of prayer and the chairman of cultural authority. 
and the uh, commission for transparency. And you know what? They have been doing something in the those days here. The, the emphasis that I dwell on today was the need to give sacrificial thanksgiving. You don't give thanks to God out of convenience. In an interview, the chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Culture and Tourism, Dr. Moegi Ogbedehama, who said he was humbled by the investiture as a patron of the Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria, noted that serving God is his top priority. To be honored in church is direct blessing from God. God ultimately is the chairman of all events. But for me, I think it is an acceptability from God that every church decided to invite me. So I was in churches last week. I will be in churches next week. So it's my best moment in the presence of the Lord. Dr. Moegi Ogbedehama, who many applaud as a federal lawmaker that has lived up to expectations in the discharge of his constitutional responsibility, is also active in religious activities. Best Mbire reporting. You're watching the ITV Main News. We'll go on a quick break. The story does for more stories. True love is one heart connecting another. The families of Sir and Mrs. Francis Uyo Mori Oloton of Oredo Local Government Area and late Mr. Felix Sandekoneso Yahiri of Igweb and Local Government Area, both of Edo State, cordially invite you to the solemnization of holy matrimony of their children, Ivie Elizabeth Omori and Iso Segbe Emmanuel Oyahiri on Saturday, November 2nd at Christ Apostolic Church of God Mission, 16 Obakpolo Street of Second Cemetery, Uzebu Quarters, Benin City. Reception follows immediately at Uyi Grand Market, 9 Ayu Benin Street of Ide and GRA, Benin City. Traditional wedding takes place on Thursday, October 31st at number 2 Ide and Street of Ihamaru, GRA, Benin City. Reception follows immediately at Uyi Grand Event Center, 11 Usageda Street of Ide of Ihamaru, GRA, Benin City. Signed, Sir Francis Uyi Omori Olotong, CEO Uyi Technical Conglomerate. Ten years in mind. Madam Ohuemume Florence Edosawa. Iye, it is 10 years since you left this sinful world to be with the Lord. We, the children you left behind, think of you every day. You sacrificed everything to raise us. You meant so much to us. We would like to let you know that missing you will always be painful. Your memory is in our heart from which we will never part. Continue to rest in peace in Yapuma, as you were fondly called, remembered by children and grandchildren. Signed by John Ologbosere, JB, for the family. Christ is in Church of God International, the church with one big family, presents National Youth and Students Convention. The theme of this all-important convention is Glorious Manifestation, and it will hold from Wednesday, 13th October, at the National Center, Central Cathedral Complex, beneath Agba Road, OOW Quarters, Benin City. Day 1, Wednesday, 13th October, arrival from various zones, rally and program theme unveiling. Day 2, welcome address by General Overseer, Choir Administration, Messages, Questions and Answers Section. Day 3, Choir Administration and Talent Homes. Day 4, Praise and Worship, charged by National National President and Choir Administration. Day 5, Sunday, Divine Service of Thanksgiving. Speakers, Thursday, Pastor Andrew will speak on abiding with God's divine will. Friday, Pastor Austin Imadwari on Glorious Manifestation. Saturday, Pastor Gordon Omarjade on affecting your word through Glorious Manifestation. The General Overseer of the Church, Most Senior Apostle Dr. David Unwefe Huiwu, will be there to release apostolic blessings on the youths. Signed, Edda Matthew Emoyon, Youth President. I, Honorable Chief Joseph Egoron Ediowele, join family members, friends, and party members in celebrating the exit of an icon as the anniversary of the death of Chief Tony Akakon Aneni is today. We celebrate you today because you live in our hearts, and to live in the hearts of men is not to die. You are not dead. You merely translated to join the host of heavens where your life continues. We will forever miss you, our national leader. You are not just a leader, but a leader in all sense of it. A leader per excellence. You have left in our hands very honorous task of keeping the flag of the party flying while in the great beyond. 
Though dead, we still feel your presence in our midst. Your presence looks fresh and indelible as every point in our political dealings. We shall always remember you because the vacuum your death has created remains irreplaceable. Anyway, we are consoled in the fact that one day, on the resurrection morning, we shall meet to part no more. Rest in peace, Chief Tony Aneni. The Edo College of Old Boys Association, ECOBA, of 1965 to 1969 class has held its first reunion in Benin City since graduating in 1969. Pastor Soho reports that the ceremony, which took place at the Best Western Home Field, was attended by several old boys and their wives within and outside the country. Members of Edo College Old Boys Association, ECOBA, at the dinner party, chairman on the occasion, Engineer Felix Egbohon, said there is no set that can be compared to the 1965 to 1969 graduating set. He appreciated the efforts of the old boys for being able to gather themselves together to organize the dinner party, which he said will serve as an opportunity to be nostalgic, especially their time at school. Highlight of the event was the cutting of the cake and presentation of the awards of excellence to deserving members of the association. It's my pleasure to present to you this symbol of excellence. You know this. <laughs> Call the ball. <laughs> Members of the association, in company with their wives, took to the dance floor to the delight of guests. Some members said the reunion has afforded them the opportunity of meeting with former schoolmates 50 years after leaving the school. The memories that are returned to us by this uh, you know, uh, reunion are very immense memories. They take us back to our childhood and make us feel as young as you can ever think. It's been really good seeing, you know, old friends of my husband, seeing how excited they are to see each other after so long. There was no dull moment, and we have been enjoying ourselves. This event is marking the 50th anniversary of our graduation from Edo College, and we have received most of our members from all corners of the earth. Class uh, 69 of Edo College is celebrating their 50th anniversary, thanking God for keeping them together for these past 50 years. Those of us who are still alive, both from diaspora and others, we gather together for four days now, this is the fourth day, to treat ourselves, have our money, devotion, assemblies, jokes and crack everything. The condition of the school is good because of the Old Boys Association, ECOBA. They have been assisting us in various ways. In the well, first, we have a hostel called Ozola hostel, and uh, that, the condition of that hostel has been very poor. But this year, the national body of Ecuba came together and roofed that building. Earlier, the Edo College Old Boys visited some places of interest, including the old site of the college, which is Idia College, from where the school later moved to the present site at the MM Way, where they were received by the principal, Mr. Samuel Ugbebo. They also visited the Samuel Ugbemodia Stadium, which is under renovation. Other places visited include the Victor Owaifo Art Gallery. <laughs> The District Branch of the Nadrin Medical Association has held its 2019 Physicians Week. In this report, Sonny Duke Okosun brings us highlight of the annual program. Which held at Doctor's House Uboa. Enemy Chairman of the State Branch, Dr. Valentine Omoifo, said the week, apart from being an opportunity to remind medical practitioners of their oath and core duties, it is also a platform for knowledge exchange to advance practice. Also, in his remarks, Chairman of Education and former CMD UBTH, Professor Austin Obasoha, who commended the State Enemy Executive for the event, sued for its sustenance. The regular doctors decided to celebrate this year with the team, care of your known patient, and overview, based on the identified lacuna in the care of this category of patients, especially in respect to police framework. Each time we subscribe to our booth, is an opportunity for our guests to see 
how we try to dedicate ourselves to the duties that were assigned us. The event also featured lectures on curbing suicide in Nigeria by Dr. Mary Ahimigbai, the doctor as an entrepreneur by Dr. Christopher Otabo, while Professor Charles Imaegaye delivered the keynote lecture entitled Care of the Unknown Patient. Yeah, so you should discuss your uh, treatment plan with your patient. Can you do that with an unknown patient that you don't even know his identity? You don't know uh, whether it relates to any particular medication? What are rehabilitation? How do you go about that? There were also goodwill messages from some dignitaries present. I feel so excited. This is not something that uh, I expected, but it has happened. And I want to say thank you very much to the NMA and its leadership for this very, very, very noble honor. I want to congratulate Mr. Chairman. For this very big the 2019 Physicians Week, which continued on day two with a visit to IDP Camp Ohogwa for medical outreach, entered day three with a roadwalk to mark World Trauma Day 2019. We want to also advocate that every Nigerian, you know, every road user should have some minimal training in basic life support, you know, so that wherever you find yourself in a road traffic accident scene, you may be able to render some basic emergency management of people who are involved in trauma. Trauma means injury. And there are two types. So we have physical trauma. If I throw you around on the head or use the knife for your abdomen or your chest, then you will see blood. That's physical injury. We can also have psychological injury. The climax was a novelty football match between the state branch of NMA and Swan and the state chapter, which the doctors won by two goals to one. Sonny Duke Okosun reporting. Christians have been advised to be in charge of their lives by acknowledging the authority of Jesus Christ. The presiding apostle of Light of the Word Bible Church of God International, Senior Apostle Samuel Igariva, gave the advice during the 2019 National Annual Convention held at a church headquarters in Benin City. Aigboje Kwaria has details. <laughs> The auditorium of the Light of the World Bible Church of God International was packed full during the church convention as they sang and danced in Thanksgiving. In a sermon entitled Taking Dominion, presiding apostle of the church, Apostle Samuel Garewa said if any Christian must enjoy dominion, he or she must be faithful to God. The National Women Coordinator of the Church and Wife of the Presiding Apostle, most senior evangelists at Desuwe Garewa and other officers of the church comment on the success of the convention. Thank God for confirming his word that in this year's convention there are testimonies of a, a, a God blessing his people and people taking dominion over the enemy. Based on the teaching we have received in this convention, it was wonderful. We give God the glory. In this convention, we have been told to take over, take over in dominion, in boldness, and not to take over in fear. The participants used the convention to pray for their families. <laughs> I, Boji Horia, reporting. Elsewhere, some indigents of Ikoha village in Ovia southwest local government area, where the state have appealed to His Royal Majesty Awai II about Benin to prevail on Chief Joseph Hosue Obao Yedu, who claimed to have been appointed by the Palace of the Obao Benin as the Yohe of Igbile Notu and Ugwamba 
Yagbekwe of Ikoa in Ovia Southwest local government area to desist from parading himself as Sohen of the community. Kingsley Uchebo reports that the position followed media reports on the purported appointment of Chief Ekhoswai as the Ohen. The protesting indigents of Ikoha village said while the above Benin was willing to give the approval for the commencement of the celebration of the village deity festival, the claim by Chief Joseph Ekoswehi or Bariedo to have been appointed as the heir of Igbile Notu and Ogoba Yabwekwe of Ikoha is questionable and strange to the community. The indigents who marched around the community in protest alleged that the laid down procedures for the confirmment of the title of chief priest is yet to be performed by Chief Ekoswehi. The expressed apprehension that blessings meant for the community by their ancestors may elude them if the right person is not appointed as the chief priest. <laughs> Claims by Chief Ehosue to be the Ohen are not true and should be disregarded. There are systematic approaches for one to attain the position of Ohen and this was not followed. Chief Ekoswe's claim that the palace appointed him as the Ohen is not true. This is a strange development in our community. It is unacceptable. The chief's claim to be on her is not true. He is not familiar to us. Confirming the position of the palace on the development secretary, Benin Traditional Council, Mr. Frank Rabo said Ikoha people came to the palace to inform the above Benin on the death of the chief priest. He said the next in command in the community is expected to take over the worship of the deities for the palace, a position which is yet to be announced by the palace. Mr. Rabo said Obeyware II above Benin assured the people that traditional items they requested for the worship of the deities will be provided for them when it is time for the festival. Someone being appointed to be the Ohen for now has not been confirmed by His Royal Majesty. Kingsley Uchebu reporting. Now to other stories. A special Thanksgiving Mass has been held as part of activities to mark the 88th birthday ceremony of the Archbishop Emeritus of the Metropolitan See of Benin, Most Reverend Patrick Ibuseli Igbu. Pius Nsogo reports that a book on the life and times of the clergyman written by his personal secretary was also launched at the event. 86, 86, 87, 87. The celebrant Archbishop Emeritus, Most Reverend Patrick Eku, flanked by the Catholic Archbishop of Benin, Most Reverend Augustine Obiora Okubeze, and other priests, as he cuts his 88th birthday cake. It was a day of celebration for priests and members of the Catholic faith in Benin City, who turned out in a large number to identify with their own. They rendered songs of praise and drama presentations in an homely Reverend Father Idada Amadasun eulogized the sterling leadership qualities of the celebrant, which he said made him a unique personality. For Benedict XVI underlined this fact when he stated in his homely and quote, obviously, the liturgy itself must not be used to speak of oneself, of myself, yet one's life can serve to proclaim God's mercy. We have gathered to proclaim and celebrate God's gracious mercy in the life of our celebrant. A book which chronicled the life of the celebrant written by his personal secretary, Father Amos Okubele, which was reviewed by Reverend Father Edwin Omorogbe, was later unveiled by Most Reverend Augustine Okubeze. In an interview, Most Reverend Okubeze described the Emeritus Archbishop as one who, though retired, is still very fervent in his service to God. He served the Archdiocese for many years 
and in retirement he's serving in his own capacity by praying for everyone. So he still remains the same person. We thank God for giving him life, good life, and uh, health of mind and body. His grace has become a, a gratitude magnet. In his pensive, reflective, or joyful moods, you see him radiating joy. I wish him long life, peace, joy, fulfillment in his old age. We are very happy that he has lived up to 88 years and we still pray to God to give him very many more years. The celebrant Archbishop Emeritus, Most Reverend Patrick Apu, commented on what keeps him going. It always bear that in mind. Length of days is a gift of God. We're full of gratitude to God and all my friends. Most Reverend Patrick Ebosele Eku, who retired as Archbishop on November 21st, 2006, was born October 26, 1931, in Urumi. He became a priest on July 7, 1963, and was made the first Metropolitan Archbishop of the See of Benin City on July 23, 1994. Pius Nsogo reporting. The ITV Main News returns shortly after this commercial break. University of Benin Teaching Hospital, School of Biomedical Engineering. Admission, admission, admission. Admission into the School of Biomedical Engineering for 2019-2020 academic session for a two-year national diploma ND program has commenced. Entry qualification. Applicants should possess a minimum of five credits in WIAC, NECO, NAPTEP, or GCE O-level subjects, which should include English language, mathematics, physics, biology, and chemistry. Applicants must have attempted the most recent jump examination with a score not less than 100 and 20. In addition, the candidates are to register or change first choice of school to UBTH School of Biomedical Engineering. Methods of application. Applicants may download the application form from www.ubth.org or collect same at the admission office of the school. Completed application form should be submitted to the administrative block of the School of Biomedical Engineering, University of Benin Teaching Hospital, on or before 17th December 2019, with a printout of their JAM score. Candidates should make use of this last minute opportunity to get their admission. For further inquiry, please contact 0703-073-9962 or 0706-067-8769. Signed, Joshua I. Owala, Head, Public Relations for Chief Medical Director. I wish I could have a road trip that is safe and comfortable, like first-class air travel, relax on an adjustable seat with enough leg room, and a multimedia screen right before me, where my daughter and I can watch any movie of our choice. I wonder if such road travel experiences exist. Yes, Mom, it does exist. Really? The GIGM Jet Mover has all these features and lots more. You don't need a plane to fly. JGM is all about first class transportation. Guess what, Mom? In split seconds, I booked our tickets via the JGM app. What? Sandra! Let's hurry up to the park to catch our bus. Mom, we don't need to go to the bus terminal. I opted for the JGM free pickup service while booking yesterday, so they'll be picking us right at our bus stop. This is interesting! GIGM, first class transportation, every day. Come, let's find out why this place is always packed full with people. I didn't choose Uyi Technical. He don't say when I they follow Uyi Technical, they buy original generator, grinding machine, and pepper meal. Now make I they back people, they come, may they come enjoy what I they enjoy. Uyi Technical, I get all sizes of generator that I want with the rice papers at affordable price. At Uyi Technical, I get quality, genuine, high-powered generator like Pekis and others. Really? Oh, you technical and the generator headquarters for different quality, genuine, and affordable generators. Spare pass, grinding machine, pepper mill, and others. Who you technical? 79, and 83 Mission Road, Benin City. Who you technical? Genuine, affordable products. 
see them. Nobody will not like better thing, no. This 2,500 Naira Bonanza to Lagos don't settle. Thank God I first thing I can't collect my tickets. Oh, fair madam. You think say now only you like better thing? I know that is for though. Apart from say Muyi like they carry from Binigo Lagos for just 2,500 Naira. Eh? Which one be that? Oh, yeah, tell them. Hmm. We don't confirm say Muyi like Bonanza also there for Binin to Port Harcourt for 2,000 Naira. Baby, Bonanza sit there to worry and other routes. So. Now, Muyi like go carry you go Lagos for just 2,500 Naira Bonanza price. Binin to Port Harcourt for only 2,000 Naira. With Bonanza discount to worry and other routes. Enjoy our comfortable Bonanza price to Port Harcourt. Buy yes and other Niger Delta routes. Lagos, Ajamai 2, Iyanokpaja, Ekboma, Awuchi, Abuja and other places for Nigeria, including charter service. Muyi line head office, the 169 Uselu Lagos Road, opposite Technical Junction, Benin City. This Bonanza go end for December 10, 2019. Muyi line, friend of Nigeria students. Next time you visit the ancient city of Benin, two things will excite you. The warmth and welcome of its people and of course, the class and style of its hospitality business. Rendeki Gold, home of hospitality like no other. Located in one of the most serene environments in the ancient city. Truly classy and exquisite with world-class facilities. Fully equipped digital multipurpose hall with life-size ultra-high definition LED screen. 180 square meters king-size swim pool with bubble bath. Enough to leave you breathless. The exotic Ariel's Bistro and Grill Restaurant with variety of continental dishes, especially some of the rarest delicacies you can find in town. Fact is, a visit will truly convince you that we are gold. Rendeki Gold is the gold wing of the prestigious Rendeki Royal Hotel at 6 Uhenui Street of Ihama and Boundary Roads, GRA Benin City, www.rendekihotels.com. Rendeki Gold, our hospitality is gold. The need for people to take more exercise to avoid diseases and live a healthy life has been emphasized. Edo State NYC coordinator Mr. Clement Adibayo Ujo stated this in Benin City at a monthly fitness exercise organized by the agency. Walitina Kodija has details. <laughs> Senior and junior staff of NY march through various rules and streets in GROA to keep fit. Some core members deployed to the state were not left out as they participated in the fitness exercise. Commenting on the essence of the ceremony, a do state NYC coordinator, Mr. Clement Adebayo Ojo, said the keep fit exercise is in line with the directive of the National Directorate of the Agency to ensure healthy living among staff. The NYC state coordinator represented by the public relations officer, Mr. Benjamin Essam, said as an agency saddled with the responsibility of nurturing youth, there was need for the staff to keep fit. This is the second edition of the exercise. Operation, we call it Operation Keep Fit. 